deep in a sandy patch of the undergrowth. Four ant queens. Three of the four queens have chosen rapid fire as their option, but one of them decided to go with mortar. Enraged by this option, the other three ant queens have teamed up and are trying to murder the fourth queen. Hello everybody, my name is Ungar and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. I hope that little cinematic intro there worked. I thought I should do something special for this video as there's a brand new beta in Empires of the Undergrowth. And yesterday I streamed the beta and we played all three of the new free play maps. And today we are again going on to the free play maps, but this time uh, we're going to do four wood ant colonies, three of them teamed up against us. So this is going to be pretty scary, but hopefully we should be able to do this. And we're playing on Sandspit, which is one of the new maps, a 3v1 style mission. So. The three enemy colonies are teamed up against us there, and our goal is to defeat them. We obviously have mortars, and the others have rapid fire, as was mentioned in the intro. But yeah, here they are. Um, their colors indicate their difficulty. They all have the same amount of cheats, but their aggressiveness and their unit builds and how fast they react to you are all changed. So green is going to be the easiest to kill. Yellow is sort of like an intermediate, and red we want dead immediately. They're going to be super aggressive and super intelligent with how they play the game. So that is going to be pretty scary for us. And yeah, I think I'll just collect some of this intro food out here, and then yeah, uh, once I collect all that, I'll come back and we'll start getting to work. Alrighty, so I've collected all the food from our initial surface area and a little pinch from here and we're able to finish off our group of workers. So I think we'll have them attack this unit here so that we can just clear out some space and grab some more easy food because tiger beetles are beginning to spawn on the surface, which are going to be quite a challenge for us to take down. But a single devil's coach horse, maybe even four of them should be a breeze to defeat, especially if we can buy a mortar or two, because uh, their damage is insane. Like, these guys are going to be really the only thing that's going to allow us to win. A bunch of level 3s with um, the AoE is just going to be unkillable. So, I think we dig through here, and yeah, actually we'll, we'll probably wait for just a second. And how are we going to build this out? Try and build it like that, hopefully. Everyone up. And fight. Of course that was opened up, but there's not much we can do about that now. Uh, imperfect nest chambers will always be the bane of my existence. But look at all this food coming in. Honestly, we should probably move up back to the surface after this, because uh, there's some really strong creatures down here that I don't think we can handle just yet. We might be able to take down a single adult coach horse, but that's probably just about all that we can do. So yeah, just collecting some food here, building up our, you know, mortar army. We can constantly have at least two of our groups harvesting as the early game is going to be crucial. These guys, they might already be coming for us. I really hope they're not. Um, we're probably going to get wrecked if they come for us already, but hopefully we at least have a little bit of time to get a single level 3, and yeah, we're pretty strong already. There's a bunch of food near us, so collecting stuff is going to be quite easy, but the enemy is also going to be building up at a rapid rate, so we're going to be need to be careful of them, and take out one of those, put in, we should probably put in some food stores. So I think that's what I'm going to do up here. This will be our ginormous full 19 food store. That could give us about 2,000 food storage, if I'm correct in my calculations. That's usually how it is. So unless they change something in the beta, I think we should be fine. Oh, but here's a tiger beetle. So run away, run away, run away. Run back home, please. And we'll, we'll go fight this single dude down here. I mean, he shouldn't be that hard. It's just one of them. And we can probably build a few of these as well. 
But yeah, that is so good that Red is kind of being beaten up by this Tiger Beetle. Although they sh are probably going to be able to kill it relatively soon. So yeah, I think we want to reorganize our groups here. Get everyone we have, except for our nest workers, on killing this beetle. Because underground food in the new beta maps is insane. Like, look at all this food. Look at all this. There's two in there, three up there, yikes. I, yeah, I think this is definitely the extent of what we're able to kill for now. So I think, since upgrades is our priority, I'd like one level three as soon as possible. That would make me feel very safe to have a single one. And then we'll probably go into a few more numbers. But yeah, I think we'll just keep collecting food and I'll cut back when we have our level three up and ready. Cut. Play. Alrighty, so it's been a minute and we're being attacked by Red Team, unsurprisingly. Although, we are much, much larger than them, so they don't pose much of a threat, but it's still a mild nuisance to have to deal with them, as I'd like to be harvesting underground. But these guys just don't seem to want to leave us alone, although that's them leaving just on time. So let's open this up, prepare everyone over here. And with how much damage we output right now, we should be able to kill them relatively quickly and then go back to take out the incoming red team. But here we go. Let's go fight, what is this, two adults and a whole bunch of larvae. But the larvae pretty much just got wrecked immediately. And yeah, here comes a bunch of enemies though, so we want to turn off food gathering for our soldiers and just have them pulverize this group please yeah they pretty much get wrecked they do have one two three four five six seven they've got seven range a few upgraded as well but i mean really most of their army makes up of workers and soldiers which can't do much damage once we get to these couple they just they fall apart so um yeah Back to collecting resources. Alrighty, it's been another minute, and look at that. Maxed out, not our full food store, but we do indeed have maxed out, uh, what are they called, range mortars? I don't know, I think they're just called wood ants in the menu here. Wood ant brutile, so there's not like a real name for them, but I guess they are range units, so since the other's called melee, I'd guess that this one is called range. And the fighting continues on the surface. Once we've cleared out this, I sent our boys back up to harvest this fish. And we're being relentlessly swarmed and attacked by a bunch of red team goobs. Oh, and it looks like yellow has joined the fray as well. I was wondering why there were just so many of them before, but it looks like yellow is the reason for that. But our level threes are still just way, way too powerful for them. Although we do need some more melee because our front lines are starting to falter a bit. And that is why we are eating this fish here. So I think I'll just have our workers eat and our soldiers will defend from these invaders. And hopefully they leave us alone in a bit. But I don't know. They just keep on coming. Yellow team should leave. And once they leave, then it's pretty much over. Alright, we might want to send our workers over there because it's getting a little crazy. Yikes, we might even want to do a bit of a retreat back to this side. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just because, I mean, this side is controlled by mostly green team, which is not a very threatening force. They barely have any upgrades on their units, which is... Sorry about that, my recording software sort of just broke for a second, but I believe we're back. And not much has changed, it was only a few seconds. I moved our troops from here to here, and we're still being attacked by yellow, but red team pretty much can't follow us all the way over here on the other side of the map, which is just great. And yeah, the rapid fire are doing well, but not well enough, as our AoE is just able to, oh, pretty much kill them. Although not entirely, as our whole front line has now fallen. That is why wood ants only work well when you have all the different components functioning. You need the soldiers and you need the range. 
can't have one or the other to get a victory with the wood ants. But, I think we're going to turn food collecting off for most of our units and just have these guys fight while our other dudes collect food. We have the workers collecting food and our soldiers are attacking. You know what? I think I might even make them go fight. Is that green team, but it looks like they're just harvesting. And I don't know what red is doing, but they're trying something, it looks like. So I think we pull our units up here, and maybe we even try and go for an attack? I'm thinking yellow is really a nuisance for us, as they can just pretty much hit us anywhere. So what I would love to do is get a kill on yellow and get their queen out of the picture. But I'm not even sure if that's going to be possible. But let's pull our units back and see what happens. Green is leaving us alone. Thank you so much. We'll leave them for last. Let them live out their life as a peaceful nation. And red team, though, they are going to have to get out of here. As, you know, they're really, really becoming a problem for us. But it does look like they're retreating. And if they are going to retreat, then I think it's about time we attack yellow. Although, no, they're not retreating at all. I mean, yikes, though. We just need more soldiers, but we can't get a hand on them. Um, all right, it looks like we're going to retreat underground and attempt to collect some food down there. So everyone pull back, and we're just going to have to fight them here. But I think what we'll do is open this up here so that we don't have to leave the front entrance. And we can just double task defending against the enemy ants and getting some good old food while upgrading our soldier count tremendously, as that is really what we want right now. We could probably just have the workers, or our secondary workers, become nest group for now while we fight up here. And here comes the Devil's Coach Horse. Very frightening beasts. But they should go down without much of a fight, because there's just so many of us. Although, again, we're running into the problem of we didn't really put all that much money into our front line, so it's kind of collapsed, although there's only one beetle left. Yeah, right, that one's about to die, and now it's just that one beetle, but we're being distracted, and this thing is cutting through us. Oh my goodness. This might be it. I'm sad to say, but this might be it. If we cannot get all of our units to fight up here and kill this guy. Yeah, we definitely need to erase a few upgrades and just throw everyone at the food. Please, collect the food quickly. I beg you, just collect food. Have these guys sit here to defend against the inevitable red team invasion. And, wow, that was way too close. We need to play it much, much more safe. But we can re-upgrade our range units down here, as these guys collect absurd amounts of food. And we should be fine. I'm going to pull our range back here, just so they don't get immediately fired upon. But look at that. This is how you play wood ants. The cheat strat of just hiding in your nest and maxing out AoE. Because look at this. They just don't even stand a chance. It was pretty much over the second they walked in here. Absolutely shredded. But now we're going to be able to upgrade all these guys. And that is going to be great for us. We can honestly probably open this up eventually. But not just yet. I'd like to finish collecting food up here. Because we kind of don't even really need all that food right now. Is green... Looks like green is coming in for their first attack, which is pretty scary, but we should be able to manage. Although, I don't know. There's a lot of enemies. And the way their cheats are set up, they don't get any free food. So all this time they're spending and all this food they're fighting with us for is not free. They are spending every single cent that we are for every single soldier. They only have underhanded, so their eggs spawn for free so they don't have to be in the nest to put them down but they don't hatch into ants for free that'll still cost them the five or ten bucks or whatever it is and yeah i think what we want to do is first off open that pull these guys down here along with these guys 
And I think Red Team is being forced to retreat here. Same with Yellow, pretty much, as the nasty spiders and stuff out here are getting way too tough for them. Although, what is that? That's a Yellow Team attack. Yeah. This thing should stop them for a little bit, which allows us to collect all this. And then once all this is collected, we will probably go to attack Yellow and then directly attack Red afterwards. But that should be it. That's our plan of attack here. So I will cut to when we are, you know, going after the nest. Because there's been a lot of gameplay of me just sitting here and bottled up in my nest upgrading and fighting. So um, I'll see you when this is clear and when we're marching on the enemy nest. Alrighty, here we are. Gonna send our workers to go collect some food down here as these guys are pretty much done with that spider. And we are moving on the enemy capital right now. Hopefully we're going to be able to take them out. But red is really going to be a huge problem for us. So maybe we actually just go for red first. Maybe red team is our real enemy here. Are these, yeah, green team boys. So they're not really a threat to us. But these red dudes are a real threat to us. And then once red's gone, that pretty much leaves us to just attack yellow who is eating right now, which is good. But there are a couple of them getting into the nest, which is really not what we want to be happening right now. Although we are pushing so far to their nest that they've got to be retreating by now. If they're not, then um, I really don't know what to say. Oh, and there they go. They're retreating. I don't think yellow even has the time to get to our nest. And I'm not sure if they're smart enough to really um, go and attack each other. Or, ah, sorry, not attack, defend each other, so I'm pretty sure we're safe. And they only have 160 food, which is really not that much. And, yeah, our front line has been upgraded to the max, and we are pushing very deep into their nest. With 100 food left, I don't know if they're going to make it. But look at that fire go, and just immediately crushes their nest defense and cuts their food in half, pretty much, instantly. And now that we have a front line, it's gonna be even easier for us to win, and they're, they're done for. Look at that, no more food. I don't know what yellow's doing. These guys are gonna be a problem, green team though, they're pretty big, but we should be able to defeat them with time. And yeah, that is the fall of red team. I wanna get a picture of this, so let me just go, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. Looky here. Oh, come on. With the queen brood chamber. All right. Wow. Look at this shot. This is great. This is the best ever. Look at that. It's just on the queen. I'm going to get a shot of that one. If I can just... Come on. Screenshot. Boom. Bada bing pow. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's just kill the queen. And immediately start marching on these fellas up here and we probably do want to start clearing another chamber or two so we can open up this and where do we put another one probably up here is what i'm thinking so we can just open that maybe just to have our nest be a little more open we can connect some of these chambers just to make it easier to get around and so that we can use some flank routes but wow these guys are pretty big and most of our units are inside the nest though so we should be able to take them down with relative ease as this is all they have get our soldiers in here pretty please soldiers what are you doing get in here and start rinsing them there we go now our melee or our range are a little more safe and we can begin to pulverize them pretty much and then this whole food is all ours and it's over. Then we can just focus fire on the remaining green team, although they're going to be a little bit of a problem. But hopefully not that big of a problem. Let's see. How, how do we fare against their troops? It looks like we're going to do pretty well. I'm pretty sure they shouldn't have that many melee, because the AI wood ants don't really build that many melee troops. So if it's just a bunch of range that can easily be killed in like one or two shots, and we've got this in the bag. But, I don't know. We should probably be buying some more troops, though, just in case. 
buy a couple there, and then I'm going to save some food, because you never know, but we should probably start our final siege of the enemy nest, and then we can loot it, eat it, and get a victory. I think we'll put these guys here. can have them go here, these guys go here, and these ones up here. Yeah, that is our plan. Our nest workers probably need a bit of help, so we can also open up a little something here that we can fill in with nest workers. And look at that. They don't have anything left. There are a few other dudes up here. I bet those are the workers, which leaves their soldiers very open because we outnumber them and outpower them. So their only hope was using their worker swarm to aid. But um, yeah, neither group can function without each other. So now that... The soldiers have been killed, the worker group gets shredded as well, and we push forward into their queen, and victory. That's that's it. Yikes, though. That is a little bit annoying that those guys are over there. So we're going to fall back to here with all of our units. Now that their queen has fallen, beautiful, beautiful. Mortar W, and yikes, there's a lot of them, though. They're running out of stuff nearby, but they still are pretty darn scary. And what are these guys doing? I'm not sure. Turn on fighting. Please fight. We really kind of need you to. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, workers. We need some workers. We could probably add another group up there just to make sure that we have enough units in the fight. And you guys retreat, please. Retreat, please as many of you as we can get to retreat we would love to oh my gosh retreat please i'm really kind of scared of green team they are going to shred us but these guys are done eating that so now we can send them here and there's a full 1500 food for them to devour which we are happily going to have them go and eat once they clear a little bit of that send them up there all right so now we just want to wait and then we'll attack but yeah look at our nest it's not doing the best our workers need some time to move eggs around hatch our new worker group and we need a bit of food to fight them but this tiger beetle should definitely do the work of uh suppressing their units and keeping them you know under pressure for the time being but i'll just cut to when we are able to you know, march on the nest to not waste your time. So without further ado, see you then. Alrighty, so our nest is now looking pretty good. We've pretty much decimated all the food in there. So um, yeah, let's have these guys face down this thing and we'll have the workers come feast on it in a bit. But right now what we wanna do is push the enemy nest with, I mean, all these troops should be more than plenty to absolutely eradicate anything in there. Oh, and here comes a second one. Let's just shred him as well. And there he goes. Yeah, I think they did buff the tiger beetles. I think they made their attacks a little stronger, maybe their HP. Because I remember tiger beetles pretty much being like a glass cannon, but now they're more, more powerful than they used to, at least in my opinion. But I could just be tripping. But um, we are pushing forward very strongly. I mean, just look at this. That was pretty much a whole wave of their units, absolutely shredded. And with their slow reaction speed, they should not be able to put up a good enough defense until we get in their nest. So it pretty much should be smooth sailing until then. And yeah, they sent out a few workers to come face us. Very smart AI. They might even let us just go straight for the queen, but ooh, look at that. They are building a few more melee than I anticipated. Based on the wiki, it says that this version only builds a 7, but that is clearly not the case. And they have 900 food. We only have 1,000. That's pretty much equal, but they... No, we, we pretty much have equal numbers of troops and equal power. But yeah, they're kind of getting wrecked, so are we. It's pretty much even at the time being. Although this group is most likely going to fall. So let's pull them back down to here. These guys will easily be able to clean up a large portion of units in there since they're really not that good at defending themselves. And yeah, then we'll go to the attack after this. 
they do have a bunch of workers. That's pretty much where most of our kills are going to be coming from, as their soldiers are pretty darn strong, which I honestly didn't expect, but okay. And another thing I didn't expect, they seem to be keeping most of their soldiers underground and only pulling up a few, so maybe we starve them by, you know, encapsulating their nest with soldiers instead of actually moving out and going into the nest. But they just sent a huge swarm out, and we might actually be able to push in now, because all these guys are out here collecting food, although they really don't need it, but as I said, I made sure that green team was supposed to be the easy one, and it seems the easier you make them, the more they are focused on collecting food and growing their numbers instead of fighting like the other two. Oh my goodness. All right. We are just going to wait up here and prepare to attack again. I think what we'll do is literally just sit outside their nest and kind of just beat them up, but have our dudes come over here. Because it looks like this is where the majority of their forces are coming out of. This hole here going down towards there and... Okay, now that that's finished up with the eating, we're just going to move our workers around. Make sure that they're collecting food so that we can keep up the war effort. And make sure that the enemy is not collecting food so that we can kill them and get a decisive victory. So I think I will just see you when we're close to beating them. Alrighty, so it really hasn't been that long, but we don't have time to pull our dudes back to defend this tiger beetle that's attacking us. So uh, I thought just a suicide rush into the nest, get as many kills as we can, and then uh, whoever respawns will take out that tiger beetle, hopefully. But look at that. Great damage. Great, great damage. And what are they at right now? 300? Almost, pretty much 400, but, you know, they're, they're trying something. Although it's not really working out that well. So let's pull back and prepare another attack. 350 from 500. So we do about like 200 damage per hit. And they definitely do not do that much to us. We had like a thousand. That was like, what, 60 food? Which is amazing for us. I know the enemy does like to um, retaliate. Like after you attack them, even if they're starving, they just love coming over and fighting. But... It doesn't look like they're going to do that because they are the very timidest of the AI. I'm not even sure if that's a word, but they're they're the most scaredy cat that you can put them on, which is um pretty scaredy cat of them. Although I think since we're losing such little food in battle, we might upgrade our melee soldiers so that we can stay in the battle a little longer. And yeah, get another great group of kills on these guys. And we're going to try that again and just hold outside their nest and hope that no other tiger beetles force us to pull a suicide move into the nest, but you never know. And yeah, we're pretty much up here. We're right in their face, and they can't really do much about it. I mean, once we have them in like a situation like this, the AoE is just going to shred. Like, if we just focus this group right here, it's, it's over. Just hit them, please. There goes literally our whole row, but look at that. There goes theirs as well, and we're still holding. Another group of melee have just come to assist, so hopefully we're good, although I'm not really sure. It looks like we're fine, though, and our food has increased from that fight, so we're definitely doing pretty strong. And once these guys are gone, it's literally just we have them in a choke point. There's nothing they can do. There goes another group of soldiers coming in to fight. And even our melee dudes that really can't do much damage are cleaning up a couple ants. Oh, and that's pretty much a free spawn of food for them. But this feels kind of like cheating. I feel like there's no way they have that much food anymore. So why not press an offensive? Charge into the nest. Obviously once we get the opportunity to as they just keep on coming, which I didn't expect. But look at that, they're starving now. This is it, this is the end of the mission. We have done it. Just cleaning up any ants that are still left as they can't really respawn. And the only thing that was keeping them alive last time was a constant respawn of soldiers. But since they don't have any melee, our AOE can just pretty much wreck their rapid fire. 
I did really enjoy doing this. So, um, yeah, I came up with this idea by myself, but if you guys would like to see me do any cool little sort of story-like missions in Empires, I know there's only that, uh, thing in the beginning. I'm not even sure if it's gonna work, because obviously I haven't edited it yet. But hopefully it will, and pull everyone back, just to get everyone in our queen for a lovely victory cutscene. But yeah, let's let the narrator speak. Taking its rightful place is the ultimate power in this patch of the undergrowth. Victory for Formica Rufa. There we go. Alright. So yeah, as I was saying, if you did enjoy, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join the Discord where you can submit ideas or just submit your ideas in the comment section. And yeah, I hope you all did enjoy. Have a good day and goodbye!